and welcome to tonight's 2022 Orchestra Winter Showcase. Tonight, we celebrate the power of vision, reflection, collaboration, hard work, grit, and determination as we continue to regroup and rebuild our lives after the initial impacts of COVID. We are met with fresh opportunities to reimagine possibilities and make choices which shape our future as individuals and in tonight's case as musicians and artists. What better vehicle than music to express these very important choices? For this reason, we have themed tonight's showcase, Building Better Ensembles Together. It was born out of collectively evaluating our strengths and weaknesses as both individuals and as ensembles to identify where we wanted to go and who we wanted to be post-COVID restrictions. We realized that continuing the Trish tradition of being a level six LGP orchestra was further away than we thought and that we were comfortable with. To help close that gap, it became essential to focus on supporting secondary skill sets, including improving personal levels of responsibility, awareness, and self-reflection. You will witness the results of these efforts in tonight's performance as we keep our eyes on the prize. The success of an orchestra is never isolated. It is shared among students, teachers, parents, administrators, and future orchestra students. We welcome and share the stage tonight with various eighth grade orchestra students from Clayton County. They too have worked diligently to advance their skill sets and working to achieve higher levels of experience and performance. We are proud to share this experience together. Without further ado, let's welcome Stillwell Ninth Grade Orchestra and Mr. Perkins as they perform El Toro.
Thank, thank you so much. We're so excited to play for you tonight and celebrate really a lot of hard work this semester and in previous years as well. Our freshmen have made such immense progress, but I don't want you to take my word for it. I want you to see with your own eyes and ears. Let's take a look at our very first week of class back in August. They're all cringing up here. They didn't want me to do this, but I thought it must be pretty. Stage lights, please.
had like tears in my eyes. That was so beautiful. And those dynamics, to, I, was, I was like, is this my orchestra? I was so impressed. That really was awesome. That was really awesome. All right, we're going to transition now. We're going to add our 10th graders for the code. It's okay to leave the lights up during the transitions. That's, that's fine. Appreciate it. Big hand for our lighting and tech. They have done a phenomenal job tonight. They really have. I've asked the kids to take pride in the work that they do and to take personal responsibility for the product that they create. And part of that is me also creating a space that they can be proud of and details matter. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Up next, Rise of the Olympians with our 10th grade. Now in 10th grade, we don't have any violas yet. So we invited our 9th grade violas to play with the 10th grade. So this is a 10th grade piece, Rise of the Olympians.
We've prepared a little video. My name is Jake. I'm a ninth grade violinist. And what music means to me is a way to express myself. And I feel like it's a beautiful way to make, keep people entertained. Also, um, what I have learned from being here at the Stowa Orchestra is that practice and hard work really, really make a difference. And that was not that great in eighth grade, but I have really, really changed throughout the course of a couple months. I'm Davis in ninth grade, and what music means to me, to me is a way to express my artistic talents in a way where I don't have to use my hands. And in Stowa Orchestra, I sort of found my path along that journey. I learned how to play two different instruments, and it's kind of helped since I want to become a composer. Hello, my name is Leah Dunn. I'm in 10th grade, and I play the violin. Being a musician means to me self-expression and interpreting the world around me differently. Being in this orchestra has taught me teamwork, team building, and that I can be my true authentic self. Hi, I'm Melanie. Hi, my name is Taylor. I'm a 10th grade violinist, and orchestra to me means for it's a place that people come together and we can create sounds and we can understand music more together and grow as a group. For being in orchestra at Stillwell, it's like an experience where you learn how to cooperate with others and learn to strive to get better to yourself. And in an orchestra environment, you are able to establish multiple connections to different people and that you're able to learn more things in the basic foundation of orchestra. Hello, my name is Krista and I play the violin. Um, I think orchestra is a place where um, different types of people can come together um, for one purpose and that is to make music. Um, to me, I feel like orchestra is a place where, you know, I can have fun and make music and meet new people, um, and make memories, and I feel like orchestra is just a community where you can come together and yeah, make music. My name is Jalen Blash, and I play the double bass in the tenth grade, and what the orchestra does for me is it gives me an environment to express myself in creativity, as well as professionally pursue something I plan to do.
So the students know me very well and never missed a learning opportunity. So guys, finals week. Our brains are tired. It's been a long day. So we're going to zone in. We're going to take a moment to just sit back in the temple, relax. And this is a good time to harness your energy and understanding when, when you get tired, like when you're, you're an adult, you're performing, life gets tiring. So now's the time to, to, to think about that and pull it in. You've got this. So keep it up, guys. Keep your focus strong. All right, our next piece is Lyric Metal. We love this piece, it's a fun piece. I would like to welcome alumni, Kayla Smith, our bassist, amazing bassist. Now we say it like orchestras, you're like your home, but it really kind of is because they just keep coming back, so it's awesome. Yeah, anytime, come back and visit us anytime, play with us, Kayla, you're amazing and awesome. So, here we go. Little lyric metal.
We've prepared another video, number three. Hi, my name is Hendrik Mana. I'm a lovely creator at Martin Allen Civil School of the Arts. I play the violin. Um, and what orchestra means to me, it's honestly just the best place to hang out with uh, friends and do what we all love to do. Bryce Johnson, who is the um, director over at Adamson Middle School, and he will be conducting Colors of Home in the Stillwell Orchestra.
fantastic job. So this semester I thought I would do something a little different, and there's so much good that happens in an orchestra every day, that I felt a real need, I just felt right to, to, to call some of those awesome things that our orchestra does in the growth, based on building better ensembles together. Um, you know, celebrate, again, celebrate the awesome things that happen um, every day in an orchestra. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what's called Ha, uh, right, what, oh, I don't remember. Oh, so much going on my brain. What did I call it? From the heart. Yes, I said right. From the heart. I knew something about the heart. Forgive me. We we're all tired. Uh, from the heart awards uh, recognitions. So I would like to invite uh, Taylor to come up. Uh, she's gonna... So in each category, I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe each category, and then um, if we hold our applause to the end of each category for the recipients, um, then that would be that would be perfect. Now get my sheets. Oh. Did somebody take my sheet? Organized you are, things happen. So, all right. Our first awards um, are rising to the challenge. These are students who have met a need. Uh, students are students who have met a need in our orchestra to help our orchestra succeed. And in this case, these students uh, have actually switched instruments. So I have Natalie switch from violin. She's a freshman. Switch from violin to bass. Come on up. We're gonna. Uh, hand these out here. And we have Madison. Madison, who is a cellist, oh also switched to bass. Our next category is. Oh, here we go. Because I, I don't want to forget it. You know, I really. It is really from the heart. I don't want to forget uh, anything. Uh, the Helping Hands recognition goes to a student or students who consistently go out of their way to be helpful and make things happen. And while all of our students exhibit some level of all of these things, these students really stick out in each category. So our Helping Hands go to Shelby Collins. Where's Shelby? There's Shelby. Shelby hurt her finger, uh, so she couldn't play uh, some of the pieces tonight. And then we have Patrick Poole, who is a... We love Patrick. He is a band student, and uh, Patrick, I'm going to give this to you later. Uh, can I put this right here? Our next uh, recognition is sticking to it. So this recognition goes to a student or students who demonstrate an immense amount of grit, who despite multiple challenges, persevere and never give up. I have not seen these students give up once. I'm sure they probably wanted to, but they did not, and I'm so proud of them. Uh, I have Mia Crisp uh, Crispin. And Jave James. Our next word I titled introspective. So this recognition goes to a student or students who demonstrate an immense amount of reflection and willingness to look within to make changes and work towards positive growth. And this recognition goes to Zyra Moses. She has made so much progress this year as a freshman. So proud of her. Okay, our next award is titled Never Missing a Beat. This recognition goes to a student or students who always uh, present without or they are always pre uh, present without question, and you don't even know what problems you could have because they're just there solving them. So these uh, awards go to Hanada Blake. And Desiree Neblin. Oh, and I also have Camille. Camille. Oh, 
Now, some of these certificates don't have a back in them. I have to order more. So if you don't have a back in yours, come see me after break and I'll have some more. Okay, our next award I call On A Charge, like your cell phone. Uh, like plugging in your cell phone to juice it up, this recognition goes to a student or students who have made notable progress by either rekindling their relationship with their instrument or by working hard to achieve music excellence. We have Neil Clark. Kimberly Ramos. We have Maya Sears. Yes, I love it. And we have Tamaya Clanton. <laughs> Donovan Pardon. Cameron Cox. I'm sorry, that Cameron, you're for something else. Stay right there. <laughs> Donovan, congratulations. Okay, our next award I have titled Superstar. So the Superstar recognition goes to a student or students who demonstrate and embody essential primary and secondary skills necessary for high levels of instrumental and musical achievement. And these recognitions go to Cameron Cox, Alan Davison, Chris Gresham, Raphael, uh, yeah, Alan played, he switched from cello to bass too this year. Easy. Uh, Chris, congratulations. Raphael, congratulations. Some more superstar awards. Diana Ortiz, Isabella Fernandez. Kira Niles is another superstar. <laughs> Kayla Tran is another superstar. Where's Kayla? Right behind me. Nice. And our last superstar award goes to Tina Hunt. We have two more. We have the Sensei. So the Sensei recognition goes to a student or students who take a natural leadership in helping others achieve higher levels of success. There are students who help in many ways, uh, in any way necessary to further the success of the orchestra. The Sensei recognitions go to Jalen Blanche, <laughs> Edward Dumano, <laughs> Ureli Perez Ortiz. Okay, continuing on with our last Sensei Award is Alakai Batiste. Okay. Our last recognition is called Behind the Scenes. So this recognition goes to students or students who contribute to the orchestra in essential ways by being student organizers, leaders, helpers, and problem solvers, and who are reliable and can be counted on at every turn to help the orchestra be successful. These are the folks that truly I rely on to make things happen in the orchestra. And this recognition goes to Anthony Shins. <laughs> Shania Swan. Last, but very not least, Taylor Boyd. All right, we have reached the final portion of our show, and uh, this is our featuring our eighth grade 
uh, orchestra students from across CCPS. Pick hand for them. It really is success. It's, it's so essential to have those connections with, uh, you know, vertical, lateral uh, alignment. And I couldn't be any more proud of these students. And um, I look forward to them possibly coming to Stillwell. Coming to Stillwell, uh, make sure you get your applications in. We're definitely looking for some good energy and uh, drive to learn. So while we're doing the transition, we have one last video for you. Hello everyone, my name is Alakai. I'm a senior at Martha Ellen Stillwell School of the um... Hi. Well, my name is Alakai and I attend Martha Ellen Stillwell. I'm a senior and um, what does orchestra mean to me? Well, it means a lot. A lot. You know, it's taught, it's, it's taught me a lot over the past couple of years, even virtually. Um, yes. Hello, my name is Alakai. I'm a senior at Martha Ellen Stillwell. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. I said more than I guess I'm not made for this. Um, hello everyone, my name is Alakai. Um, I'm 18 years old, I'm a senior at... I'm about to say Marlo. Can you say that over here? Um, hello. Orchestra under the direction of Mr. Bryce Johnson.
Where's Nia? Nia, stand up. I can't. Nia, I missed Nia's name on the Sticking To It Award. So uh, everybody give a hand for Nia for the Sticking To It. I will have your certificate tomorrow. Thank you so much for such a wonderful evening of celebrating music together and um, building better, better ensembles together. We can't do it without you. We can't do it without our, our directors, our teachers, the students, the parents, and families that support the arts and support what we do every day. I'd like to thank Mr. Brian Fredericks, the orchestra director at Rex Mill Middle School. There's Mr. Fredericks. Say hi. I'd also like to thank Mr. Bryce Johnson, Orchestra Director at Adamson. I'd like to thank Mr. Jeffrey Lynch, Orchestra Director at Middle, uh, Riverdale Middle. And also Mr. Rudolph Weber, Orchestra Director at Eddie White Middle School. I'd also like to thank tonight our parent volunteers, Ms. Coulter and Ms. Woods, for uh, collecting uh, admission as you walked in. Thank you so much for volunteering there. Very much appreciated. I'd also like to thank Principal w Ross Wilson for all of her immense uh, support and dedication to making Stillwell, continuing the excellence of Stillwell and implementing just such a wonderful vision. And uh, we're very thankful for her. I'd like to also thank Ms. Kirk and Ms. Crumb, assistant principals. Uh, I'd like to thank our stage and tech crew. Uh, student stage and tech crew, Taylor, Shelby, Shania, Cameron, and Patrick. Big hand to you guys. They've been working behind the stage, you know, behind the set, getting everybody going. And I gotta tell you, today was a really kind of nutso day, and they did phenomenal. I am so proud of all of you for your response to, to, to feedback and, and paying attention and just being responsible and doing a just wonderful job today. I'm very, very proud of all of you. Extremely proud. So thank you. And lastly, I'd like to thank my wife. Where is she? Where is my wife? Where is Ashley? There she is. So passionate about the work that I do. And it impacts her because of having to do what I have to do to do and make excellence because that's a dedication. And I thank you for all of your support. It really means the world to me, so thank you. Okay, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful holiday break, and uh, we look forward to a wonderful second semester. We're going to take two groups of LGPE. We're going to hit the ground running in January. Drive safe, be safe, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>